EA Sports. It's in the game. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of this friendly. Today it's Borussia Dortmund against AC Milan. So without further ado, we're off to the new camp. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, this is the one we've been waiting for. We being Martin Tyler and Alan Smith in the commentary box. And you, of course, ready to watch the game unfold. Yeah, can't wait for this one. What do you think about this, Alan? It's pretty tough to call. They're good sides, aren't they? They are. Two high-caliber sides, and you look at the two sets of players, so much quality in both, and uh, it is difficult at kick-off to separate the two. It takes a lot to take on Bayern Munich, but for a couple of years, Borussia Dortmund were able to do that, weren't they? Uh, I suppose uh, they paid a price in the end when the Champions League final went against them, but it was mighty close. It was. And, uh, Jürgen Klopp, one of the... Uh, best emerging coaches in Europe has built something really good something vibrant so many good young German players coming through they've got fantastic energy it's always uh, remarkable when you come to uh, the new camp and you see where the players come out past the chapel down there if there are any late prayers needed and I'm sure there's a perfect setting for it they cater for everything yeah and behind the scenes you could argue it's seen better days it maybe needs a, a facelift but there's just something special about it is an experienced one, Wesley Van Gorten on Borussia Dortmund. One thing that just slipped under the radar a little bit, but they were in terrible financial trouble. Could have gone out of business. El Shabali! He goes for goal! Well, he didn't really trouble the keeper, and it was with his uh, weaker foot, Alan. Well, it was, but I think uh, supporters wonder why a professional footballer can't practice on both feet. And if he had of, he'd have scored there.
Tchaikovsky. Who goes in? Before we were interrupted there, we are talking about Dortmund and their financial problems, Alan. And that Bayern Munich actually helped them out at a time where they could have gone out of business. So uh, it's not all enmity between those two great football institutions. No, I think for Bayern Munich, they want to see German football in a healthy state. And everybody needs a rival, and Dortmund are their biggest at the moment. There are other clubs about, the likes of Schalke and Bayer Leverkusen, but Dortmund are second in line. Milan trying to get into their stride here. Challenges for the ball. They've been saved, the defending team, by that offside flag. They think he was on, but when they look at the replays after this match, they'll realise the official made a good call out. That's a decent save by the goalkeeper. back off they could be in trouble the ball gets to here it's with De Jong that's a challenge that could lead to a chance now here's a chance for a counter attack can they make anything of it the circumstances Alan but I think the supporters here are entitled to feel a little disappointed everything set for the second half Montalivo came in with the challenge that's a real tussle for the ball now he's looking for support That's a big call by the assistant. The flag has gone up. He would have been in for goal. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity, but uh, looking back on it afterwards, they can have no complaints. Nigel De Jong. Attacking play from Milan. Here he is with the chance. Oh! Keepers kept it at 0-0. The uh, flag is up. It has gone out off the player. Milan have a corner.
penalty given and the yellow card to follow. Alan, has he got it right? I think so. They won't be so worried about the yellow card, but the penalty kick, they most certainly will. The blow. He scored! Slide rule stuff from the spot. Nobody cooler either than Mario Balotelli. He's so difficult to read. And the score is 1-0. goes with the tackle and it's a penalty oh he's missed it well, I want to put the house on him there substitution now and might use up a bit of time here as well for the team that want to hang on to this lead. Montalivo. Good play, one on one. Great chance. Great chance to grab the ball at the feet of the attacking player. Strike would have got his foot to it and nicked it away. I think it'd have been a penalty. The scoreline stays the same. Milan with a goal in hand, but just one goal. Well, only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. Here they come again. It might be their last chance here to get something from the game. Final score here, 1-0. And it's been comparatively stuff that we've brought you here, really. Plenty of interest to it, plenty of uh, edge to it at times, uh, but they've been beaten. They have been beaten, but uh, it was quite competitive. As you say, one or two tackles going in, and uh, it's, it's good match practice.